As an owner operator, it's important to understand your cost per mile in order to run a successful business. To determine your cost per mile, you can put together a trucking expenses spreadsheet. And while putting together that expenses spreadsheet, you can look at your operating costs and possibly find ways to decrease those operating costs. Continue watching for step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together a trucking expenses spreadsheet and ultimately determine your cost per mile. The first step in putting together your trucking expenses spreadsheet is determining your fixed costs from the last month. Fixed costs are expenses that remain the same month over month, regardless of how many miles you drive, how much you work, how many loads you haul, etc. If you have any annual expenses, these are most likely fixed costs. So what I would do is take that total annual expense and divide it by 12 and take that smaller amount and add it to your fixed cost column on your trucking expenses spreadsheet. So some examples of your fixed costs may include your truck payment, whether you are paying off a truck that you purchased or you are paying a weekly fee on the truck that you lease. Your total insurance costs, which may include occupational accident insurance, unladen non-trucking bobtail insurance, physical damage insurance, etc. Your plates and your permits. For the sake of this demonstration, we are providing examples of what your fixed costs could look like. So we are going to say your truck payment was $3,000 last month, your insurance total was $400, your plates were $140, and your permits were $25 last month. So using those examples for our fixed costs, our total fixed costs for last month came to a total of $3,000. $565. However, you need to go back and determine what your actual fixed costs were last month. These are just examples. The next step is to determine what your variable costs were from the last month. Variable costs are expenses that change month over month based on how much you work, how much you drive, how many loads you haul, etc. When filling out your variable cost column on your trucking expenses spreadsheet, consider costs such as your food, your fuel consumption, any freight related costs that you have, such as freight brokers, dispatching services, load board fees, etc. All of the truck maintenance you had in the last month, and any other miscellaneous expenses that you had. And again, for the sake of this demonstration, we are just giving examples of what your variable costs could be. So we are going to say that you spent $5,000 on fuel last month, $350 on food, $2,000 on freight costs, $1,200 for semi-truck maintenance, and $200 on any other miscellaneous expenses that you had. So using those examples for variable costs, our total variable costs for last month came to a total of $8,750. However, you need to go back and actually determine what your variable costs were last month. All right, so the next step in putting together our trucking expenses spreadsheet is to determine how many miles you drove in the last month. This number needs to include both your compensated miles, so the miles when you were pulling freight and you were earning a revenue, and your deadhead miles, so the miles when you were not being compensated. For the sake of this demonstration, we are going to say that you drove 10,000 miles last month. So the last step in determining your cost per mile is to actually do the calculation. So first, we're going to take our fixed cost number that we got from last month, which was $3,565, and we're going to divide that by the total number of miles we drove last month, which was 10,000. So our fixed cost per mile from the last month was 36 cents per mile. We're going to do the same equation for our variable cost. So we're going to take our variable cost from last month, which again was $8,750, and 
and we're going to divide that by our total miles driven, which was 10,000, and that will give us a variable cost per mile from last month of 88 cents. Then the last thing we have to do is add that fixed cost per mile and that variable cost per mile to get our total cost per mile from last month. So we'll add 36 cents plus 88 cents, so we'll get a total cost per mile of $1.24. So at this point, you should know what your cost per mile for last month was. And as you can see, it was really simple to do. It's also really beneficial to do because it helps you determine what your revenue per mile needs to be in order to make a profit as an owner operator. And as we said earlier in the video, it also helps you to determine where maybe you could cut back on some of your operating expenses in the next month. So if you're looking for more information on how to calculate costs per mile or any other advice on how to run a successful business as an owner operator, check us out at schneiderowneroperators.com. Thanks so much for watching.